IOT, an acronym for the Internet of Things. So what is IOT exactly? It's the technology that connects devices to the internet and or each other in order to collect and communicate data. Here to bring us up to speed on this fast-moving sector of technology is Rommel Ball. Rommel is president and CEO of Core, a pure play leader in the IoT space. Also joining him is David Lukens, senior vice president of North America at IMS. Thank you both for joining us here on Tech Impact. Thanks for having us, Mark. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, glad to be here too. Thank you. Rommel, you and your company are on Tech Impact because of your technology and its advanced capabilities. Please tell us a little bit about IoT and specifically the role of Core in this technology sector. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Look, when we talk about the IoT, the Internet of Things, we're talking about the billions of things that will be connected over this coming decade of IoT across this planet. It's so much more than just the millions of cell phones and laptops we normally think about as connected things. Think about connected cars, think about office buildings, think about a robotic arm uh, on a manufacturing process. Frankly, think about a robotic arm as a part of surgery that's being performed remotely. Those are the kinds of things we talk about and it could go all the way as, as simple as a, a little SIM card in the collar of your favorite pet, making sure you can track that little guy no matter where he goes. So there's a really high potential in the world of IoT to connect things to get us the intelligence we need. And to answer the part of your question around Core's role, we provide a myriad of connectivity, analytics, and solutions services, all off a rich intellectual property platform globally, and that's our role in IoT. So is it accurate to surmise the goal of Core is to provide companies with technology and tools and to support and navigate these complexities? That is exactly the role that Core plays in the IoT ecosystem. We are a simplifier, a sort of an orchestrator across all of the complexities of different technologies and different telecommunication standards in different countries and different devices. All of this that makes it really, really difficult to deploy global or multi-regional solutions. In fact, there was a study done just a few scant years ago that showcased that almost two-thirds of all IoT solutions, proof of concepts and pilots stalled or failed to meet their goal. Less than a third of the IoT projects out there were deemed to be successful. And it really all comes down to this complexity. And so where we can become more of a one-stop shop, provide that series of managed services that I talked about, connectivity and analytics, that really helps our customers adopt IoT, makes it easy for them to get to their end outcomes which is of course driven by data. So David, let me ask you what your organization does with the Internet of Things. IMS supports our insurance company partners by providing our suite of usage-based insurance solutions. Essentially what these do, we send a variety of sensors to insurance companies and their policyholders that get installed in their vehicles and track driving behavior. We then pass that information back to the insurance company who uses that data to make data-driven decisions about how much premium to charge those policyholders based on their actual driving. And our sensor suite varies anything from smartphone only to Bluetooth devices to OBD2 devices. And where does Core fit into your solution? IoT can get very complicated very fast. And for us, we're primarily a data and analytics company. The task of managing the logistics behind those devices, frankly, can get to be quite a nightmare. And we've spent a lot of time and effort ensuring that the right devices with the right configurations are sent to the right users so that they can then collect the information that we can provide to the insurance company. Um, and that was very difficult for us to manage um, we were very lucky um, to have a partnership with Core and to be able to advise on the creation of ModGo. And now with ModGo, we know that we can manage, or Core actually manages for us, the device configuration so we know the right device goes to the right user. It collects data um, every time. The, at the end of the day, our customer just needs to get the device and it has to work. In closing, Rommel, what message is it that your company wishes to convey to our viewers and businesses about Core and its agenda? Well, if I was to wrap up with one message, it would be one or 1A, that 
IoT is going to profoundly change our world, right? more profoundly even than smartphones. Remember when we didn't have smartphones and now we often ask ourselves, boy, what did we do for directions before this? You either had a map or you had to actually get off, get out of your car and go call somebody from a payphone to figure out where you were going. As much as those smartphones changed our world, IoT will change our world even more. So one B of my message is you've got to get in this game. The longer you delay, the more chances you have to be falling behind your competition, to not be delivering the customer experience that David just talked about. So you have to get in the game and we're here to help. Gentlemen, thank you both for taking the time with us today on Tech Impact. Thanks again for having us. Yeah, thank you for having us, it's a pleasure. If you would like to learn more, head over to corewireless.com or log on to techimpact.tv.